Hi, I'm Eva Silverstone and I work at the Downtown Library, but right now, of course, I am working from home. And um, for my art break today, I like to take a break and do some artwork every day. I am going to do some rock painting, so um, I'll show you how I do that. And um, I miss seeing all of you at the library and hope that you'll join me here on uh, online. So these are the materials I've been working with. I have um, rocks that I have spray painted um, with, so they have a base color and, and or I also like working on plain rocks. Um, so this one I did on a plain rock and, and this one obviously I did on a spray painted rock. And, um, and it's just a, two different styles. I also have two different styles here because with this I'm just doing like dots and stripes and an abstract design, but here I'm doing an actual shape of a butterfly and both are totally okay. I've done a number of different shapes like here's a banana and a butterfly. Here's a butterfly with paint pen versus a butterfly with colored pencil so you can kind of see the difference there. And um, here's an example, another example of one that is on a non-primed uh, rock, just the natural color of the rock. When you do the colored pencil, you want it to be on a fairly smooth rock because it's f hard for the colored pencils to um, adhere to the rock very well if it's a very rough rock. And so um, those are the different rocks that I tend to use. I find my rocks just around. I've also bought rocks at um, landscape supply companies and they're very inexpensive. Um, they're used to selling rocks by large, large quantities. So when you come in and you say, I need 15 rocks, they're like, oh, that's nothing. And so I have worked with colored pencils. So here are the colored pencils and they're just very ordinary colored pencils. Um, and I draw those right onto the rock, but then the thing that makes them permanent on the rock is I use clear nail polish to seal it. And, and so I will put a coating of that over the, the colored pencil design that I do, and it helps uh, make the rock so it won't run in the rain. I also sometimes will add some sparkle nail polish um, to give a little extra pizzazz to it. Then there are paint pens, and so I use the paint pens, and the paint pens come in all different sizes, but I like the, the fine point and the medium point. And so those are my two favorites. And um, they are super easy to use and a lot of fun. They come in all different colors, gold, silver, lots of colors, all sparkle colors, which are really nice. Um, oh, and then I also use acrylic paint. So when I'm using acrylic paint, I use paint brushes and different size paint brushes, whether I'm doing a large design or a small design. But I also will use like the back of a pencil to make like a dot. Because pencil erasers make great dot marks. So you can see I can make little dots with a pencil eraser. And then I also have a skewer and like a, for a barbecue. And with the fine point, I can make tiny, tiny little dots with the fine point of the skewer. Or I can use the back of the skewer and make a bigger dot. And like that. So all different techniques. Um, so colored pencils, paint pens, and acrylic paint. So. I'm going to get started and show you some of the rocks I've painted, and I hope you enjoy.
thanks again for joining me today for some rock painting. Um, eventually we'll get back to doing in-person programming at the library and then I hope to see you all there. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this program from the library and I miss you all.